Welcome back to Retro Axis. One of the most requested features for the Atari VCS has been testing various different uh, Linux distributions that are specific to doing emulation. In particular, Batocera has been one that many of you have continuously asked about in the comments. Uh, so here I actually have booted Batocera on the Atari VCS. Uh, to do this, I did have to uh, access the BIOS by removing the, uh, or access, you know, putting in the BIOS password to get to the settings and turned off the secure boot feature. That's allowed me to actually boot uh, it from an actual USB flash drive. So um, in other words, the BIOS didn't check the image to make sure it had a signed image, which allowed it to boot. So here it is, it's up and running. I was able to uh, get it configured. Um, I put a few uh, you know, games in here just as a test uh, to show you that it's working. I've got the VCS controller here configured uh, and it is running um, uh, an NES emulator as you can see. So it does run. Uh, I haven't done anything more specific than just testing it to make sure that it boots. Um, I'm, I've got a little performance issue because it is running off of this USB flash drive. However, if I were to install it uh, on top of the um, the SATA drive, I'm certain the performance will be better and I could make this maybe a full-time uh, gaming rig. Now, I'm already happy with the setup I have in Lubuntu where I've got RetroArch working and everything's already good and set up, uh, but certainly this is a great uh, option for those of you who want to install an emulation uh, station setup on your uh, Atari VCS. Here's Tempest 2000 for Jaguar. All right, so uh, as you can see, that works also. So we do know that the uh, system can run other games from you know, PlayStation 2 and GameCube as I did test those before. So certainly if you have this properly configured, everything would just work. Uh, I just booted this really quickly just to kind of show you all that it does boot with the secure boot turned off. Uh, and certainly if you took the time to, to configure these properly, everything should work as expected. So there you are, Batocera on the Atari VCS. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video, and we'll see you next time on Retro Axis. Mm -hmm.